I'll come back and talk after this. Africa today is facing critical problems. However, it's a very good time to be alive and to watch the transformation. For the Africa we want, Sally Kimango, that's my name. I live in Botswana, originally from Kenya. I'm the founder of Edis to Africa with its many other subsidiaries. I've been a very big part of digital transformation in Africa. And I've seen us emerge from getting learners learn with the VHS. Some of you who are as old as I am can relate to what I'm talking about. To where we are, that kids are learning using apps. And we keep saying it's time for Africa, and this time around, we're not going to be left behind. But then again, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. Yes, COVID 19 has happened and exposed us to what needs to be done, where we're lacking, where we're behind. At the same time, we're very proud of what a lot of teachers, a lot of educators from Cape to Cairo, looking at situations in Liberia, Senegal, Tunisia, Kenya, Zanzibar, a lot of amazing revolution skills to solve the problem and make sure that we keep learners engaged as we get, go through lockdowns. Kids can't access schools. A lot of poverty issues. Some of them, these issues were still existing, I agree. But as we look at that, we're still constantly trying to see how do we make sure that we still keep these learners engaged. We've seen some teachers educate children with the use of WhatsApp. Some educators, people in edutech and in edutech space and others, private organizations, governments and private sector, we've seen them introduce a lot of e-learning platforms. Some people had no idea how to use Zoom, Google Classroom. And now that's a household name. I embrace the fact that internet penetration in Africa is pretty big. Almost every other household has access, access to a smartphone. And when we look at that, then we are able to look at in our own little ways that every child is able to get education. As we try to look at way forward, training of teachers is very critical. Training of youth so that they're employable as we look at the 21st century skills and the transformation for the Africa we want. As Edison Africa, we focus so much on 21st um, skills, 21st century skills. We're looking at creativity, critical thinking, communication, collaboration, inclusivity. Can we have that child in the village as part of this? And as we look at how we can solve that through the four C's, we assist in setting up coding clubs, or STEAM clubs, innovation hubs in different parts of Africa. So we appeal to stakeholders out there. We're happy to work together. We want to collaborate. We want to assist you and see how we can transform the Africa we want from the community sector to the city. We're in partnership with uh, several organizations from Europe to US. Some are local. We have partners who are based in Africa. And we've been able to blend it in and look at a holistic way of making sure education goes on. We've been able to look at how do we bring in the girl child? How can we have inclusivity and we are not constantly left behind. With STEAM, that is, as you know, science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, organizations like Destination Imagination have played a big role. We add that together, blend it through coding skills that are very much needed. We help 
children, we create employment where youth are able to set centers. And in their own little corners, without a lot of cost involved in it, we educate children. We're happy to collaborate with you out there and see how we can make the world a better place. Thank you.